In this tutorial, we will demonstrate how to enter adoption leave in statutory adoption pay for an employee. Firstly, select Payroll followed by the employee's name on the left to access their payslip. Under Statutory Pay, click the Calendar button and on the employee's calendar, select the child's placement date. Click the Parenting Leave option at the bottom right of the screen and choose Adoption Leave from the list. On the Adoption Leave screen, Complete the date section accordingly and select the employee's length of leave from the drop down menu. The matching week will automatically be calculated. BrightPay will automatically calculate the employee's average weekly earnings to determine whether the employee is entitled to SAP. However, should you need to overwrite this automatic calculation, simply untick the box provided and manually enter the employee's average weekly earnings. To retain the information entered, click Save. The employee's calendar will automatically be updated with their adoption leave. Press Close to return to the employee's payslip. BrightPay will automatically calculate and apply any SAP due when the adoption leave period begins. In the event that sufficient historical payroll data isn't available within BrightPay to calculate the employee's average weekly earnings, but you are aware that they are entitled to receive SAP based on previous payroll records, simply click on the Edit button and tick to override the average weekly earnings calculation, followed by the average weekly earnings amount. To view or edit the employee's adoption leave details at any time, click Edit, followed by View, Edit Details. BrightPay will continue to apply any SAP due until the adoption leave end date is reached. Should an employee attend work during the adoption leave period, they will be able to work for up to 10 days without losing any SAP. These days are known as Keeping in Touch Days. To recall Keeping in Touch Days, firstly click the Calendar button within the Statutory Payments section on the employee's payslip. On the employee's calendar, highlight the day or days the employee is attending work. Then select the Keep in Touch Day option on the right hand side. Once an employee has worked for 10 Keep in Touch Days, they will lose a week's SAP for any further week in which they work during their adoption leave. BrightPay will automatically apply this rule in the payroll when the number of Keep in Touch Days entered on an employee's calendar exceeds 10.